Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the Mizamo 3D avatar into your Unreal Engine 5 and process the retargeting process. It is just in about one minute and make this avatar to become the main avatar or any of the NPC in your Unreal Engine game project. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you can just scroll down, go to my video description. You can see the first link, get the Freedom Animation Pipeline version 3. This is a Google Drive link, just go and download it first. Once you download it, you have to extract it, extract into the folder to stand by and get the Mizamo, the Mizamo 3D avatar from this link. I already opened. So this is the Mizamo.com. And once you enter it, you have to log in by using your Google account and go to the character. Once you click the character, you can see here is about 100 free avatar that you can download from Mizamo.com. So I'm going to choose an example, for example, the Mara Zizé Ong. I click this. First to download it, just in T-Post, download. Once you click download, it is going to download into your computer at here. So it is in my download folder. I will just click show in folder and here. As demo, I'm going to put it on my desktop. Put it at here, control V. Right, to stand by, this is an FBX file. Next, open the Unreal Engine 5. And as demo, I'm going to create a new project file. Now the Unreal Editor, I will just create a third person game project. Project name, I'm going to name this as Mizamo to UE5 demo 01. So now I click create, it is going to start a new project. Everything starts from beginning, it is easier for you. So now you have the Freedom Animation Pipeline version 3 created by me. And just get standby. This is your Unreal Engine 5 game project. And this is the content browser. You back to the content, back to the all, and right click the content folder. The first step just show in Explorer here. Now it, it will automatically open. The next step just minimize everything. Open the Freedom Animation Pipeline, double click. And inside the Freedom Animation Pipeline folder, you have the content folder as well. Then just copy the Freedom Animation Pipeline. To here. Let's so right click to copy. Copy into your directory. Just click and control C to copy and then click here, control V to paste. Paste into your content folder. Now you can close both of it back to your Unreal Engine. It is in your content folder. You can see you have a freedom animation pipeline. You double click in, you should be able to see. The Mizamo, the Mizamo auto -read retargeter here. All right. So once you double click, you can see Mizamo auto -read to Mizamo auto -read IK retargeter. That is enough. So the next, just back to the content, and we are going to import, import the Mario ZZ on FBX. This is just the demo that we are going to test and. Later, we are going to perform the retargeting and also make her to become the main avatar and any of the NPC in the game. And for now, if you play, the main avatar is the SK Mana Queen. So, right? This is the SKM Queen Simple. So later, we are going to replace this main avatar retargeted to become your Mizamo avatar. So now, I will create a new folder to, to just import this. 
I will just rename this as Maria. Maria is enough. Maria. So I right click to create a new folder, name this as Maria. Double click, then drag in the Maria. The skeleton, no need to choose anything. The skeleton mesh, import mesh, just click import all, that's all. Then close. Now you can just check this. Now it is preparing the shader. You have to wait until it finishes. Then the Maria is already here. And now you have a Maria skeleton as well. So everything already very easy because I already do the retargeting job for you. So you just back to the content folder, go to the freedom animation pipeline, and you can see the Mizamo auto read retargeter. Just double click to find this Mizamo auto read to Mizamo auto read IK retargeter. Just, just to make sure it is already there, then you open the the animation retargeted here you should be able to see the third person animation blueprint third person animation blueprint Mizamo auto read just right click it retarget animation assets and duplicate and retarget animation blueprints so the ik retargeter you have to choose the Mizamo auto read to Mizamo auto read then here you choose choose maria then after that, just click retarget. That's all. Now you can see everything already retargeted properly. Next, the next step you have to rename this. The third person animation blueprint. Just press F two, and then just delete everything until you see the BP. BP underscore Maria. The first step. What you are going to do next under the Maria folder here. Just right click to create a new folder. Name this new folder as animation retargeted and make sure that you just turn here on so that you can see in your navigation you can see the animation retargeted back to the content next we are going to move everything click the first one hold the shift and click the last one to drag and drop into animation retargeted folder where is it wait where is maria maria is here under the maria animation retargeted just drag and drop into here and move here now it is already inside your Maria folder animation retargeted now it is here next if you play you want to make your main avatar to become Maria what to do just escape it in your content folder go to the third person go to the blueprint you can see the third person character is at here you can just right click to double click sorry right click and just duplicate and remove number one to make an underscore type maria the name now this is a duplication and then double click it click the mesh click the viewport at here the skeleton mesh you have to choose maria and then the animation class you have to choose the third person animation blueprint Maria. This is what you had renamed just now. So now once done ready, you click compile and click save, close. If you play, you can see the main avatar still the SKM, the SKM Queen simple. Just escape it because you not yet set the main avatar as the third person character Maria. How to set the main avatar in your Unreal Engine 5 game project? You have to open the BP third person game mode. The main avatar is here, default pawn class. You have to change the default pawn class to the BP third person character, Maria. That's all. Then click compile, click save, and close. Now you try to play, you can see. Maria already become the main avatar of this Unreal Engine 5 game project. And everything quite easy done. I already created a retargeter for you. What you need to do is just use, use my freedom animation pipeline. Everything already make your life easier. I already, I already create all the IK rig and retargeter for you. You can just go and retarget any of the Mizamo avatar and bring them to your Unreal Engine 5 game project to make them become the 
the main avatar or any of the NPC. If you want to create an NPC just back to the Maria folder, you can just just drag any of the animation sequence or you can just drag the blueprint it is at here the third person blueprint you can drag the blueprint to there as well if you play you can see they already become the npc in the game and of course in this blueprint you can just go and program it let this blueprint to follow you or just create any action and if this one this is just an animation sequence most of the time you can't do anything but the blueprint yes you can just open the blueprint to to just create create some coding here create some script script by using the blueprint you can program it all right that's all for today about my tutorial of how to import the mizamo 3d avatar and retarget in Unreal Engine 5 to make them become the main avatar or NPC in your Unreal Engine 5 game project. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation, 3D modeling, the 3D game developing, then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all. So that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.